In the last video, we saw that Russian Ural guitar that sounds apparently terrible. I thought maybe I could use that body as an inspiration for my microtonal guitar. If I wanted to cut into the body, I would do it like this. Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 2 of Microtonal Electric Guitar. I said in my last video that I really liked the Fender Bullet Mustang, but someone said in the comments that the length of the neck was slightly shorter for the Bullet Mustang versus a uh, Bullet Stratocaster. I did some research and indeed you can see here they have 24 inches for the Bullet Mustang and 25.5 inches for the Bullet Stratocaster. The Bullet Stratocaster also has one fret less than the Bullet Mustang, which means that I'll have more space to work with on the Stratocaster. So I'm actually gonna just get the Stratocaster, this one. It also has a tremolo bar, which is an extra feature that the Mustang doesn't have. I think that's pretty cool. I wanted to go to Guitar Center to buy one, but as you can see, everything is closed because of coronavirus. So I'll just order it online and it will come when it comes. The other decision I had to make was whether I want to cut into the body itself or not. I do think it would be fun to cut some of those parts. I thought I'd make a couple attempts at cutting into the body on Photoshop and see what it looks like and then I'll decide whether or not that's how I should do it. How could we shade this guitar for it to look more original than it does now? Could just do like this. Cut down like that, and then like this, right? Okay, bear with me here, bear with me here. Okay, wait, let me see. Just like that. <laughs> and then kind of What do you think? I was going to go with this design, but then I realized that probably some of the mechanics, some of the insides of the guitar, like the cables and stuff, are not going to fit in this much space, or I would have to recarve inside. So might not be the best solution. Let's let's. I'll I'll keep this one. I'll keep this one just in case. I I. But I'll try another model because I don't. Know, it is it is supposed to sound good. So even if the design is important, I can't I can't have it not sounding good. I was looking at this guitar. I think this is the guy that made Stu's flying microtonal banana. And as you can see, he used some old Mij Echo guitar for inspiration. And since in the last video we saw that Russian. Ural guitar that sounds apparently terrible. I thought maybe I could use that body as an inspiration for my microtonal guitar As you can see, I'm basically a professional at Photoshop. <laughs> so yeah, I think Something like this I can subtract that So now we have this beautiful thing. Wow. It's so good looking. Oh my god. I'm just gonna erase How does this work? How, how is Photoshop? Like that Don't lie, it's totally amazing. I'm kind of surprised. I thought it was gonna be terrible looking, but okay. Can I remove the background? Oh, yeah. Wow. Photoshop is great. Okay. <laughs> and now I will probably take off the pick guard or I would cut it or something. Ah, that looks all right. Wait, let's put this back on. I feel that this little part here is kind of awkward. Uh, let's see, just like that. So looking at it like this, it looks like this neck is a lot shorter and a lot more stacked than the fender neck, which I think is gonna be good for me that I pick the fender over this thing. That's gonna be so terrible, oh my god. <laughs> hey, it's not bad. I think it's not that bad. For someone who has literally no idea what they're doing in Photoshop, I think it's pretty cool. I'll save this one and I'll try another I'll try another Fender, another model. That's pretty wild. I like this, what the heck? <laughs> Yo, what? That's so wacky. Wait, how do I see the model name? What is it? Tesco remake of May Queen.
I don't know if it's because this guy plays not amazingly or because the guitar just sounds like not amazing. Plays this, right? Hey, it fit automatically. Thanks, Photoshop. Okay, I'm just gonna experiment here, do some crazy, some really, really high tech design here. No, I don't think. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that works. I'm just gonna pretend like I didn't do this. All right, let's try something else. I thought this one was really cool. And I actually know that he did it from a Strat. I don't really want to recreate the same design just because that's not really original. I don't think I'm gonna use, I'm just gonna do it. So I don't know if he had planned, see, maybe his guitar would look better if he had planned it like me. He just kind of cut this part off. And then also this part like this, it's kind of, curved inwards. Why does it look so ugly? Okay, and then there's like this part here. It's like round. That's how his guitar looks. And then he did like this. I mean, that's all right. That's kind of cool. Okay, what if we cut like part of this? So it's like that. And then part of this one. Right? And maybe that kind of looks like an Eastwood guitar. This can go down a little bit. Like this. I mean, I think that's pretty nice. That's original design. Thank you. You're welcome. Now it just looks like those portable guitars, you know, like the travel guitars. <laughs> Big thing. <laughs> <laughs> wait, that's awesome. No, that's terrible. Okay, wait. Whoa, my god. I don't like that. I like the big thing though. I think that's that's dope. Whoa. I mean, I might as well just buy a travel guitar if I wanted this shape. Whoa. That's kind of nice. Oh, this is it right here. That's the one. I'm definitely gonna cut that one. I mean, that's kind of cool. It looks like a guitar of a five-year-old, but could be nice. All right, let's give it a go. Last one. This is the big thing. Okay, Back to the Future. Oh, it's from Back to the Future. Oh my god. Oh, that's why I'm like, whoa, what that guitar is awesome. If you haven't seen that scene, it's this one right here. That's so awesome. I, I think it's John Mayer who had said that Back to the Future inspired him to play guitar at I've got to say that scene at the end when he's doing Van Halen, he starts tapping on the guitar and everyone's like, oh. <laughs> it's so good. Even this is... <laughs> it's so great. Let's see. Yeah, it, it is the... <laughs> oh, okay, wait, wait. I, I might need to get this guitar then. That'd be like a reference to... It's so small, what the heck? <laughs> Great stuff. Wait, that's okay. This changes everything. It's so disproportional. What is this? I could do something like that. That's kind of wacky, but okay, let's see. La, 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 la. I can see how it's all a little cut up. It's so bad. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I mean, that's gonna have to do, I think. Yeah. Okay, big reveal. What's it, is it gonna be good? I have a bad feeling. Yo, that's dope. I mean, like, it could be nice. It has potential. That's the best one I, I like so far. And then that would be so nice. I, I think, ah, guys, I think this might be the winner, but okay. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Go take the round three survey. It's still out. We need more respondents. By the next time I do an episode, I'll have the guitar and I can start cutting into the frets. So it will be a lot of fun. Thanks for watching. See you. <laughs>